Hi everybody. How are you? I just wanted to jump on here real quick today because today is the kickoff for our August to December 2020 mini catalog. And uh, a lot of you probably haven't had a chance to see it yet. So I just wanted to go through it and show you some of the beautiful stamps and papers and embellishments that Stampin' Up! has come out with. This is just for the holidays. So here we go. So this here is an advent calendar. This is an advent type of calendar that um, you can make. It's a project. Um, I did this last year. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna offer this class again this year. So if you're interested in creating this, the kit comes with everything you need to put it all together. You just need to come up with what you want to put inside the boxes. So here we have the tag buffet. Sometimes we do classes on just creating tags for the gifts as we get closer to Christmas. And here's the deck the halls, the most wonderful time of the year. Wrapped in Christmas, Peace on Earth. These stamps are so detailed, um, you wouldn't even believe it until you actually see it for yourself. So this is the Poinsettia Place Suite, and this is the, um, the Poinsettia Bundle includes everything you need to make this card. So this is the card that I made from this stamp set. And then that's the inside. So these are cards that um, your friends and family aren't going to throw away. They know that you've gone to a lot of work to create the cards, so they like to hold on to them. This card was made by Kimberly Kane. She is a fellow demonstrator. And here's the inside of her card. Isn't that cute? I just think that's so cute. It's different. I like it. This is plush um, designer series paper. It's a specialty paper. And you can actually color this. Or, as she did, she put a uh, real red cardstock behind the flower. And so that's how she colored it through that way. And this is the sheer ribbon that you can order. And then this is the designer series paper. So it all coordinates. That's one of the nice things about Stampin' Up! is that all of their products coordinate together. So here's the poinsettia petals. It also comes with, or not comes with, you can also purchase the dies to cut each one of these out. Um, so that's, that's basically what we did here with this. And then with the leaf there. And the Peaceful Nativity, this was created by Kimberly Kane. She's also a fellow demonstrator. No, it's Carol Coel Stuckey. I'm so sorry, Carol. I'm sorry. Okay, so this was created by Carol. And she added the, the uh, sentiment on the inside as well. So all of this she cut out with the dies that you can purchase when you purchase the nativity set. Oh, and here's another one. This one was created by Anna Masternak. This is the, the same set, only she has added some detailed trees. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. I like purple though. It's one of my favorite colors. Brightly Gleaming Designer Series Paper. And this is the Peace and Joy stamp set. And Christmas Gleaming. Let's 
here. Fireside trimmings. You can kind of see the, the sort of cards and 3D projects that people create using the set and the dies that come with it. Sweetest time. Look at the detail on that, those borders. Isn't that pretty? That would be really pretty if you created a card and had this say that like at the bottom of the card or along the side cut out. That'd be real pretty. And here's the tree angle. Don't stop believing. <laughs> that little elf. So cute. And gnome for the holidays. These stamps all come um, just as they're shown here. You can color these in yourself with the Stampin' Blends. Here's Trimming the Town. I wish I had samples of all of this designer series paper, but I don't. It's so pretty and really in the book, it just doesn't do it justice at all. Coming home bundle. Now the bundles are generally the stamp set and the coordinating dies. That's generally what a bundle is. Sometimes it's the stamp set and an embossing folder. But when you purchase the bundle, you save 10% then rather than if you were to buy them separately. Mary Moose. Yuletide Pasture. Christmas means more. Wonder, sweet, wonder of the season, sweet. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? There's so many different designs that you can make with the cards or with the stamps and the cardstock. Stampin' Up's cardstock is like none other. I have been selling Stampin' Up off and on since 2006, and you just won't find a better cardstock than what Stampin' Up offers. For one thing, the paper or the cardstock is the, a solid color all the way through, not like other cardstocks where when you rip it, there's a, it's a white on the inside, not Stampin' Up. It's all, all the way through the cardstock. So here's the Cherish the Season, and this card was made by Margot Richardson. Isn't that pretty? So she used the brass foil uh, specialty paper to create the, when she stamped this out, and she cut it out. That's just pretty. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this for Unto Us is the sentiment that I used when I made this card. This is a window sheet tent card, and I showed how to do this in one of my other videos. I am going to post it up on uh, YouTube sometime this week. I just haven't gotten around to it. But this is so cute because this actually fits in the same size envelope as these cards do. They're exact same size. But this one will stand up. And let's see. This is the Snowflake Wishes bundle that Faye Caldwell made. She used the dies and the and the stamp set from this. And then she also added this little bit on the inside, which I like to add that extra touch to the inside. It just makes it more special. And here we have Snow Wonder. And this card was made by Mel Lampert. All of these are demonstrators. So 
sending you blessings, peace, and magic this Christmas season. It's so cute. These are embellishments that you can purchase. Sometimes they come in with the suite. Most of the time they come with the suite, but you can purchase them separately as well. And here's another card. This one is by Mary McNeely. Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. I like how this, it's the same size card, but this is cut short so that you can see this designer series paper under here. I just think that's really attractive. And light me home ornamental envelopes. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look, they have dies for these envelopes. Char Cooper, this is, this is something like what I was talking about when we were talking on the phone the other day. This is so cool. You can use these dies to create the inside flap for the envelopes so they coordinate with your cards. That is so neat. Okay, warm and toasty in the pines. This is the Gilded Autumn su Suite. Autumn is one of my favorite times of the year. This ribbon right here is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Beautiful Autumn. So I have a couple of those cards. This one was made by Winona Dolka. Isn't that pretty? The designer series paper that she used has that shimmery, gold throughout and then she used this little punch right here to punch out the leaf and here's one by Jody Anderson and she cut these out as well she used um, crumb cake star crumb cake cardstock she stamped it first um, probably, I'm not sure, close to Coco, maybe. It says, thank you, and you can write your own note on the inside. It's just so cute, though. Um, let's see. Yeah. This one here was, this is a card that Kathy Miller made. So she stamped this and then she um, put the, the designer series paper, the specialty paper along here. This is the ribbon I was just mentioning a moment ago. Plant kindness, harvest love. Amen, Kathy, I agree. But it's so cute. It's simple, but it's really cute. Some people go all out. Oh, here's another one. This one was created by Rayanne Luttrell. Hope changes everything. It's similar to this card here. And that ribbon's really pretty. Like I said, everything coordinates. I mean, everything, everything on here looks good. It all looks great together. And okay, life is beautiful. So I've got a couple samples that I got from my friends. Mary McCormick, she made this card. Life is beautiful. I like how she added that at the bottom. So she used this stamp set and then she used this stamp and she stamped on the branches. Oh, that's cute. I don't know how she did that. I'm going to have to find out. That's really neat. You can, it's, um, you can feel it. It's, it's raised and I don't know what it is. It could be Versamark. It could be Versamark and white, um, detail powder. And then this one was created by Julie Davison. Thinking of you. And she did similar, similar to the same thing, but she used the leaves that are down here. Okay. 
And let's see. Oh, here's the Halloween. This is pretty. This card was made by, let me see. Oh, Betsy Kreider. Isn't that something? I mean, it's, it again is simple. She stamped these and cut them out with the dies that came with the, or that you can purchase with the stamp set. And she added the spiders on the inside. That is just really cool. But what I really like about this is how you can see through, this is vellum and it's a specialty vellum. It just adds extra interest. It's adorable. There's more stamp sets. Now, if anybody is interested in getting together and making some cards, um, just tell, just let me know. Um, send me a message or, you know, email me. You can email me at tjtucker2013 at gmail.com. And we can get together and stamp with some friends. You can come to my house or I can come to yours. Just... I just, um, just let me know. I'd look forward to it. Celebration Tidings. Flight of Fancy. Those are a little more whimsical. They're cute. Turnovers. Everything Essential. I like this. So they... They use this punch here, and they um, the cardstock they punched out and then just put it on the on whisper white cardstock and decorated the front. So it's really cute. Like I say, there's so many ideas. People have so many ideas. You can go on Pinterest. You can go on Stampin' Up, and just get tons and tons of ideas on cards and and projects that you can make. Here is Have a Hoot. So my friend Dawn Woodard, she created this card with this stamp set. And this pops up like this and sits right behind the Merry Christmas. Isn't that cute? See that? It's really simple to do, but it makes a difference. These, these are the kind of things that people enjoy seeing when they open their mail. It's just cute. And let's see, almost finished here. This is just, I'm so excited about this catalog. It's so, it's got so much in it. And this stamp set, Beth Alvis created this card with the stamp set. Isn't that cute? Hope your day is full of perks. So I'm actually getting ready to do a masculine card um, stamping event at my home. So if that's something that you would be interested in, please let me know that. And then I will be also, I'll also be doing some Christmas stamp -a stacks And I would love for you to join me. We have a lot of fun. When we get together, we just have a lot of fun. And this is the Paper Pumpkin. And if you haven't subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, it's really worth the money. It's only $22 a month. You get everything you need to make 9 to 12 cards. Oftentimes, there's more than, um, than what you need to create the projects that they provide detailed instructions for. There's always... Um, you also get the opportunity to make other things. So usually I'll take the stamp set and then I will create um, scrapbook pages. I scrapbook, but I haven't scrapbooked for a while, but I've been putting together some pages. I just need to add pictures. And then back here it lists all your different bundles and what they cost. That way you can see it all together. It's samples of everything. And you can copy the ideas right out of the book. That's what we call C-A-S-E. It's copy and share everything. And 
you know, when I first started Stampin' Up, that's all I did. I copied stuff right out of the book because I didn't, I could, I didn't come up with my own ideas. So there you go. And if you're interested in and hosting a party or a stamp session, let me know. Um, and if you sell $150 worth of merchandise, that's before tax and shipping, then you get free products. Okay. And that's that. And if you would like one of these catalogs, just give me, um, send me an email, tjtucker2013 at gmail.com, and I will get one sent out to you. So that's all I have for you tonight, and I hope you have a good evening. Bye-bye.